So a couple years back, I read an interesting book by the creator of the Dilbert comics, so Scott Adams. And in this book, he was talking about his early years before he was a famous cartoonist. And he was talking about how he would work on these evening projects either before work or after work because he knew that his goal was to create a successful business where he could have the freedom to do what he wanted. And one of the chapters, he talked about this idea called the energy metric, which is about how he knew what project or business to work on based on whatever gave him the most energy. Because when you have a full-time job, you have extra time, but what you don't have is a lot of energy. So whatever excited him the most was the project he worked on. Now in this video, I want to share a little bit about building off of this managing your energy instead of managing your time concept, because I don't believe that laziness is about motivation. Hey guys, Alex Hein here, author of the book Master of the Day. So I think the big lie number one is that, first of all, productivity and success are all about motivation. And these I believe to be absolute lies and untruths, if I can say that. So for example, if you think about a lot of the world's most successful people. So you look at Muhammad Ali, one of the best boxers of all time. And one of his direct quotes was, I hated every minute of training, but I said, don't quit. Suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion. Now what's kind of crazy is I've talked to many multi-million dollar entrepreneurs and so many successful authors and writers and poets and a lot of them don't describe their work as being like this easy thing. They describe it as being really difficult. And what they do is they just show up every day and they force themselves to show up every day. Even though they like it, it's not something they just naturally want to do 8 or 10 hours a day. In fact, it seems like a lot of the top, top, top people know this and motivation is not even in their lingo anywhere. For me, even with these videos, like I love the feeling of having produced them and going back and watching them, but there is no day, trust me, where I want to sit down and script a video. There is no day where I feel like I have tons of energy to sit down here and belt out 30 minutes of talking. Trust me, no, no day am I like, yes, I really want to do this. I love the feeling of having produced the work, but not the feeling of doing it. And if you look at, honestly, I live in Portland. Every day is as cloudy as can be. Most days, you're not really going to spring out of bed, but you still have to show up and be an adult. So the second habit here is that what creates energy then? And I think energy is both physical and it's both mental. So for example, physical energy, like I feel more energy when I sleep enough. I feel more energy when I work out. I feel more energy when I eat well and I don't overwork. And then it's also mental or psychological. You know, I've told the story of the boy that's super depressed, you know, because he just got dumped by his girlfriend. And he was super smitten, super in love with this girl. Out of the blue, she dumps him, and he goes from having his whole life arranged, apartments clean, the dishes are done. His place just looks like hell. It's, it's nasty, it's dirty, he's nasty, he's dirty. And then out of the blue, the girl calls him, and she's like, you know what? I've been thinking. I think we're perfect for each other. I'm sorry about that. Can you meet up in, like, two hours? And then magically, the whole place gets cleaned up, all the dishes are done, he showers, he shaves, he looks great, and it's like, what well, it changed? You know, not, not, nothing changed. She just told him something and somehow he magically had energy? Well, where did that come from? And so this to me is like the yin-yang of energy. There's the factors we can control, we create, and there's the inner stuff that creates energy. So how do you have a lot more energy throughout the day to fight off laziness and to be more motivated the way is organizing your day around the things that give you energy. When your life is systematically organized around inner energy, you will always have the energy you want to do the things that you want. All right, so the third habit here, building off of one and two, the lies of energy, the fact that energy has many different aspects, is to organize your life around the things that give you energy. So people come to me all the time and they want life coaching advice, they don't know what to do, my main piece of advice now at 31 with what I've done is just organize your life around the things that feel good internally, that give you that energy, that excitement. So that Christmas morning feeling. You know, the difference now in my energy where I have a job that I love, it's like something I've consciously chosen where every day I do exactly what I've always wanted to do. But, you know, compared to before, all the jobs I had, it's completely different. Like night and day. Before, every morning was a chore. Every morning was slogging through crap. Every morning required motivation and rah-rah. 
getting myself going because I just wasn't really inspired or excited. And now it's very different. And the difference is that could be your work. So trying to find work you really that really excites you. It's the old school Joseph Campbell follow your bliss thing. And at the same time, being around people that really excite you. You know, I've been on dates. I give this example a lot because every human knows it where you've probably been on a date with a person, they're super sexy, they're really smart, it's fun, you feel like you should feel the connection, feel the excitement, but that feeling of excitement is not there. And you're like, this is weird. They're hot, they're fun, they're smart, but there's no juice, there's no magic, there's nothing, there's nothing inside coming out. What happens, you know, conversely, if you share your time or you're dating someone that really you really feel that vibe with. We use that word vibe in English because it's, it's that, just that intangible thing you can't quite describe. So when you hang out with people, they could be friends or they could be romantic, but people that you really get that feeling of excitement from, your whole life is gonna be like this explosion of excitement. And along the same vein, like what happens if you fill your whole life with things that excite you? Look, just you could literally print off your calendar. What is your schedule today? Nine to five, what are you doing for work? What are you doing after work? What are you doing in the evening? Think about one of the greatest days of your life. So it could have been when you were on a trip with your family, you were in Costa Rica, looking at spider monkeys and sloths, and that was a great day. And you went to bed, you slept like a drunk baby because everything was amazing. And it was all high energy and all high excitement. Now what if every day was like that, even though you're not in Costa Rica? And every weekend you had something fun, a trip, something with friends, a show, Maybe it's just a video game you buy and you play. If you systematically organize your life around your energy, or another word could be your excitement, this is a big thing I'm on these days, it's so different in terms of internally where the laziness disappears, where the motivation comes from. And I think you'll be surprised to see what can actually happen when every day is organized just around excitement, not productivity, not any other factors, not success, excitement, because that at the end of the day, I think is what we're all looking for. So I hope that video helps. Before you go, I want you to leave a comment down there below. Let me know for you, if you had your perfect day, what would you do? Comment there below. All right guys, so I hope that video helps. Best way to stay in touch is to grab the free personal development and weight loss challenge at modernhealthmonk.com forward slash YouTube. And you can check out the latest two videos here and over here, and then you could get her done in your own life.